Good day everyone! Today we're going to talk about speed, distance, and time. And this is Sir Romel, your math teacher for today. Stay tuned! So what is speed? Speed is a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. Speed can be thought of as the rate by which an object covers a distance. Average speed, on the other hand, is a measure of the distance traveled in a given period of time. It is something referred to as the ratio of distance and time. Now, distance is a total length of space between two positions. Time is the quantity measured or measurable period during which an action process or condition exists or continues. So let's try to answer these problems. So Jessica drives from Manila to Baguio. There you go. At a distance of 160 kilometer in 4 hours. So average speed is equals to the total distance traveled over the total time traveled. So, total distance traveled is 160 kilometers, while total time traveled is 4 hours. Now, what are we going to do here? So, we're going to divide 160 kilometers divided by 4 hours. So, therefore, 160 divided by 4 and the average speed is 40 kilometers per hour. So, from Manila to Baguio, her average speed is 40 km per hour. She then drives from Baguio to Benguet at a distance of 90 km in 1 hour and 30 minutes. So, determine her average speed for each journey. Okay, so now let us solve for the average speed of her travel from Baguio to Benguet. Okay, so let us solve for the average speed of her travel from Baguio to Benguet. So we have total distance traveled divided by or over total time traveled. So in total distance traveled is equals to 90 km and the total time traveled is 1 hour and 30 minutes. Now, we are going to... Uh, convert 1 hour and 30 minutes into decimal. No? So, in 30 minutes is equivalent to 0.5. Kaya magiging 90 km divided by 1.5 hours. Since 0.5 is equivalent to 30 minutes. Diba? Kalahating oras yun. So, 90 km divided by 1.5 hours is equals to So, our average speed is 60 km per hour. Okay, so let's proceed. So this topic, speed, distance, and time formula. So we have here the magic triangle. Okay. Kung natatandaan nyo yung uh, sa rate base and percentage, the same din. No? So we have D yung nasa itaas, sa baba yung S and T. Okay, so for speed, distance, and time formula, so we still have the magic triangle. So if D ang nawawala, so that will be lalagay nyo lang sa tabi, that is D is equals to S times t. So that is distance is equals to speed times time. Okay, so for speed, distance, and time formula, if s is missing or speed, so distance or d over t. So that is s is equals to distance over time or speed is equals to distance over time or divided by time. Okay, so what if time is missing? So, time is equals to D distance over, okay, speed. 
therefore, that is time is equals to distance divided by speed. Balikan natin. So, speed, distance, and time formula. So, we have distance is equals to speed times time. Pag speed naman ang nawawala, that is distance divided by time. And so, pag time ang nawawala, that is distance divided by speed. So, ito sa right side, yung ating magic triangle. So, nasa taas lagi yung D. Then, S. And then, T. Okay? Okay, so for example number one, let's try this problem. Drew drives at an average speed of 45 miles per hour on a journey of 135 miles. How long does the journey take? So, una, bigay muna natin ang given. Ano, ano ba yung given? Okay, given muna tayo. So, ano na yung given? So, we have average speed. Ito yung average speed is... So, Average is equals to 45 miles per hour. So, what else? So, we have a journey of 135 miles. I mean, 135 miles. Okay. So, that is distance. Okay. Distance, that is 135 miles. Now, ano yung nawawala? So, remember yung triangle. Okay, we have speed, distance. Ano yung nawawala? That is, okay, time. So, ano nga yung formula? Solution tayo. Solution. So, we have time. Formula natin is equals to, okay, very good. Distance divided by speed. Okay? So, solve natin. So, time. Time is equals to an in distance natin that is 135 miles over divided by 45 miles per hour so itong 135 ay miles ito ay miles per hour okay so time is equals to 135 divided by 45 is equals to what okay so that is 3 3, cancel natin yung miles. Cancel yung miles. So, natira is hours. So, ang sagot natin ay 3 hours. Okay? For example, number 2. Jana cycles at an average speed of 8 miles per hour. If he cycles for 6 and 1 half hours, how far does he travel? So, first, again, we're going to get the given, no? Hanapin muna natin yung given. Okay, so ano yung mga given natin? Again, average speed, meron tayo. So, we have, pwede natin ilagay yung speed na lang. No? Speed is equals to 8 miles per hour. And then, we have the cycles for 6 and 1 half hours. So, ano tong 6 and 1 half hours? Okay, so that is time. So, time is 6 and 1 half hours. So, ano nawawala? S, T, N. Okay, very good. So, that is, ang nawawala ay distance. Okay, ano pang ano natin? Clue kung bakit nawawala ay distance. So, here, nakalagay is how far. So, meaning, we're going to look for the distance. Okay, so, next is our solution. So, for our solution, first, let's try to keep the formula in finding for distance. So, distance, just remember the triangle. Distance is equals to okay, speed times time. Okay, so distance is equals to speed is ilan ang speed? 8 miles per hour then times 6 and 1 half hours. Okay? So, mamultiply natin. So, D is equals to 8 times, gawin natin itong, ano nga itong gagawin natin pag multiplication ng fraction? So, gagawin natin improper fraction. So, magiging 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1, that will be 13 over 2. Okay? So, 8 times 13, that will give you, that is 24, carry 2, 8, 9, 10, 104 over 2. 
Okay, so distance is equals to 104 divided by 2 is 50. Okay, 52 miles. Okay, so that is our answer. So last example, example 3. So Jasmine has to travel a total of 351 kilometers. She travels the first 216 kilometer in 4 hours. Okay, so letter A, calculate her average speed for the first part of the journey. Okay, so in first part of the journey, is ito, ito. First part is 216 kilometer in 4 hours. So letter A, so 216, ang given natin is, uh, distance is equals to 216 kilometer. Ang time natin is 4 hours. So, speed natin ay nawawala. So, yun ang hinahanap, average speed. So, average speed is equals to distance divided by time. Okay? So, solution so, speed is equals to, distance is 216 divided by 4. So, speed natin is equals to 54. Okay? So, that is 54 uh, kilometers per hour. Okay? So, ito yung speed ng first part natin. Okay? That is letter A. So, for letter B, sabi dyan, if her average speed remains the same, so pareho yung speed niya, 54, the same, calculate the total time for the complete journey. So, this time, sa pangalawa, ang time naman ang hinahanap. So, time. So, time is equals to, anong formula? Distance divided by, okay, speed. So, that will be, ano yung distance natin again? Ang distance natin, yung whole travel niya, no? So, total time, uh, I mean, total uh, distance traveled is 351 kilometers. So, that is 351 kilometers. Then, ang speed natin, divided by ang speed, is 54 kilometers per hour. So, cancel na yung kilometers. Cancel. Ang is hour. So, 351 divided by 54 is okay, 6.5 hours. Okay. So, this is our final answer. So, that is the time. So, that is the total time for the complete journey. So this is the end of the lesson. See you next time. And goodbye everyone.